And joining me now is Logitech CEO and President Bracken Darrell. Bracken, it's good to have you. Welcome. Great to be here. Thanks, Kelly. I assume you're using one of your products right now? Of course I am. <laughs> the, I'm using multiple products right now, not just the webcams, but a microphone and a mouse and a keyboard. That's true. And you guys make the whole suite. So uh, tell me what's still in stock. What is there no way people are going to get their hands on uh, for quite some time? You know, a few a few weeks ago or months ago, I would have said, you know, there's no way you're going to get hands on your hands on a lot of things. But now we're really coming back in stock and everything. We still, you know, we're we're kind of hand to mouth on webcam still, but we're getting there. And you'll we're a little tight this quarter, but I think if you want one now, you can find one. Uh, we're still very tight on blue microphones, uh, which these are super. If you don't, I don't know if you've ever seen. Yeah, show super. us. Yep, absolutely. This is it, and uh, they're really, really great. So we're still very tight on blue microphones, but that's coming back too. So overall, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape over the next few weeks and month and a month or so in everything. Tell me real quickly about your supply chain. Where is the stuff coming from, and where are you running into bottlenecks? We know that UPS, FedEx are doing holiday surcharges. You know, what's it like right now, and you know, what countries or production areas of the world are an issue? Well, we make almost everything we sell in Asia, either in China or in countries around China. And, uh, and the bottlenecks have really been, for the most part, our, the most difficult supply problems have been in component supply. But we have great, uh, very long-term relationships, most of the key component suppliers we've been able to get to them. And we've been able to unlock most of that demand. We have increased our, our own capacity for making these things dramatically across the board. So it's been uh, exciting. Are you pushing up prices? And what happens when you watch this kind of gray market come up online where, you know, the, I mean, those suppliers know how to get stuff out there at a really high markup when people need it, this stuff fast? How do you deal with that? We are not raising our list prices. We, we just uh, really, especially in the beginning of the pandemic, uh, when people needed our, our products to communicate with their loved ones or, or to, to teach or to, to learn, we just weren't going to increase prices. We're not going to increase prices. We really held firm. Uh, it, it did happen where you, have, you could find webcams at a crazy price online, and there's not much we can do about it. We certainly reported it to the, the retailers, detailers who had that happening, but uh, there's not much we can do about it. Yeah. What is the biggest mistake people make when buying or using one of your, you know, a, a webcam in general? You know, the biggest mistake people make is not using a separate webcam because I know I'm sounding like I'm promoting, but <laughs> there are great embedded webcams, but separated webcams give a lot of advantages, including the fact that they tend to be higher quality. Uh, you also can move them around. I can pick this up and I can show someone. I can show you right now. Instead of doing what I did, I can show you my microphone. <laughs> um, I could also put it over if I was drawing something. I can put it over and show it. So using a, a separate webcam is really an advantage. And I know that's frustrating for people who are trying to get one of ours and couldn't. But they're coming back into supply now. Yeah, well, we appreciate the update, Bracken. Of course, I uh, wish you the best uh, as this continues. And thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me, Kelly.